Hello and welcome back to That's English. Hello. Today, Rosie is in love with George. Valerie thinks it's just infatuation. Un capriccio pasajero. Rosie is very interested in astrology. She likes reading a horoscope in the newspaper. She talks about these star signs. Libra, Scorpio, Virgo and Aries. And another expression you'll hear is dark secrets, secretos inconfesables. Todo esto lo veréis en el episodio de hoy. While you're watching, think about this question. Is George the right man for Rosie? I'm in love. I know. It's probably infatuation. I don't think so. I know I'm in love. I was listening to the radio this morning. All the love songs were about George and me. Rosie, I'm stuck. I feel dreamy. I feel as if I'm floating on a cloud. I feel creative and happy. Rosie, can you help? George makes me feel brand new. I'm seeing the world for the first time. Do you understand? Everything looks different. Rosie! Are you all right? Valerie. Don't you think George is so wonderful? People say that love is blind. That's okay. I don't mind what people say. You've only known him a week. Yes, a week. A glorious, wonderful week. George may not be the right person for you. Why not? I've always got on well with Scorpios. I'm a Libra, you see. You have only seen one side of his character. What do you mean? You don't know him. Are you saying George has dark secrets? Well, maybe. Is there something I should know about him? I don't know. I think you're just jealous. what your horoscope says. You're Virgo, aren't you? It says, although you are going to have a difficult month, your finances will improve. It also says, try not to be jealous of other people's good news. You see, you are jealous. I don't think I'm jealous of you and George. I just don't want you to make a mistake. What's the matter? My horoscope says, be careful of Scorpio men. They may have a dark secret that could cause you problems. Oh, I don't believe it. I don't believe in horoscopes. They're nonsense. So, Valerie thinks George may not be the right man for Rosie. That's her opinion. Here are some simple ways of giving your opinion. Aquí las expresiones clave son I think y I don't think. I think you're just jealous. I think you're just jealous. Creo que estás celosa. I don't think I'm jealous of you and George. I don't think I'm jealous of you and George. Creo que no estoy celosa de ti y de George. 
Pero cuando alguien nos da su opinión, es importante saber cómo expresar si estamos de acuerdo o en desacuerdo. It's probably infatuation. I don't think so. It's probably infatuation. I don't think so. Creo que no. Una buena forma de expresar que estás en desacuerdo con alguien. También puedes utilizar think para preguntar a alguien si está de acuerdo contigo. Don't you think George is so wonderful? Don't you think George is so wonderful? En realidad, está diciendo que George es maravilloso y pregunta si Valerie está de acuerdo con ella. Let's go back to the story now. There are some new words in the next part of the story, but it's okay. We're here to help you. Quizás puedas averiguar cuál es el secreto de George. Te damos una pista. En inglés, envenenar se dice to poison. You will love this. What's wrong? I don't know. I don't know anything about you. Isn't that exciting? You have a lifetime to get to know all my dark secrets. What dark secrets? I was joking. What happened to your last girlfriend? She left. Why did she leave you? Oh, I don't know. She didn't like my cooking. Did you try to poison her? No, I did not. What happened? She got bored with me. What happened to her? She took off with an airline pilot. <laughs> She took off with an airline. <laughs> You're always laughing and joking. I don't trust you, George. You're too happy. Well, I haven't always been happy. When I was a child, I was very small. I was very sensitive about my height. At school, the other children laughed at me. They were very insensitive. Ha, 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 look at George. He has a funny face. Oh, no. That's terrible. Well, I told them jokes. I made them laugh. They laughed at my jokes. I was always a clown. You see, although I'm quite extrovert, I'm really quite shy. Then, when I was 21, I got serious. I was serious about finding a job. I was serious about finding a girlfriend. Then one day, I met a girl called Margaret. She liked me, and she didn't laugh at me. We went everywhere together. I was in love. Then... One day I was combing my hair in the mirror. I saw my hair was coming out. Within a few months, I had lost most of my hair. You poor man. Margaret said it wasn't important, but I was so embarrassed I stopped going out with her. But now I don't worry about what people think of me. It's not important. It's what I feel that's important, and I feel great. What about you? Did you have a happy childhood? Yes. No. I don't know, George. I don't want to talk about myself. Ooh, you are in a bad mood. The food won't taste as good if you're in a bad mood. I'm sorry. Are we going to have our first fight? What's the matter? George, do you believe in astrology? A little bit. Read this. Yes? George, what is your dark secret? My dark secret is... I'm an Aries. 
An Aries? Valerie said you were a Scorpio. She was wrong. <laughs> I was born on April the 1st. April Fool's Day. Nació el día 1 de abril. April Fool's Day. Algo así como en España el Día de los Santos Inocentes. La gente gasta bromas entre sí. George es un hombre de fuertes contradicciones, ¿verdad? Su personalidad tiene multitud de facetas. Fíjate sobre todo en la palabra although. Aunque. Although I'm quite extrovert, I'm really quite shy. Aunque soy bastante extrovertido, en realidad soy bastante tímido. También podría haber dicho, I'm very extrovert, but I'm also quite shy. Although expresa lo mismo que but. Antes de terminar, vamos a ver otro tipo de contrastes. When I was a child, I was very small. I was very sensitive about my height. At school, the other children laughed at me. They were very insensitive. I was very sensitive about my height. Me preocupaba mucho mi estatura. Sensitive. Sensible. The other children laughed at me. They were very insensitive. They were very insensitive. In se añade al principio del adjetivo sensitive para formar una palabra que significa lo contrario. Sensitive, sensible. Insensitive, insensible. Otro prefijo muy usual para negar el significado de un adjetivo es un. Veamos varios adjetivos y sus contrarios. Happy. Unhappy. Intelligent. Unintelligent. Exciting. Unexciting. Careful. Careless. La última tenía truco, ¿verdad? An es el prefijo más utilizado para componer la forma negativa de un adjetivo. Pero tienes que aprender cada palabra de forma individual. Me temo que no hay regla sin excepción. Sorry, but that's English. And that's all we have time for. Please join Robert and me for our next program. Yes, you'll get a chance to see and hear all that new language again. Bye. Goodbye. See you soon.